Hi everybody, welcome to the Make Chair. Today I'm doing a Miley Cyrus inspired look. You guys voted for this on Facebook, so thank you so much for voting. This um, look I also comes along with a hair tutorial. Check up here for the hair tutorial if you want to have a look at that. This look is kind of wearable and natural. It has a little bit intense on the eyes because it's like a, a half smoky eye is what I kind of refer to it as. The rest of the face is pinky and peachy. Just keep watching if you want to see how to do it. So you're going to start by taking a black eyeliner and I'm going to be using this one by Rimmel. You're going to work this into the inner portion of the eye. Now if you have slightly smaller eyes you can do it just on the outer part here but if you want to do it like the way she did it you can put it right into the inner waterline. So just put it in, close your eyes and let it run across. Because her eyes are quite small she's left this area free of pretty much everything. You're also going to take this eyeliner and just work it across the top where the lash line is. Let's start right on the lash line to begin with. And make sure you leave this area, just a, like a finger length in here free. And as you bring it outward, you can allow it to get a little bit thicker. Next you're going to take a black eyeshadow, so I'm using this one by Sleek. I'm going to take an angled brush and just dab it in there. And you're going to press this over the top of that eyeliner. In the same way, you're going to leave this area free. You're going to have it thicker on the outer part of the eye and then just go over this line basically. So using the angle just press it down. If you find it easier you can go from above and press it down like that. But I'm going to go from the side. You're allowing it to get a little bit thicker on the outer part of the eye. But don't worry if this line isn't perfect because we are going to be blending it. And you can also do a little bit just underneath the eye, just on the outer part. Next I'm taking a fluffy brush, just a small fluffy brush, a little bit of mid-tone, so it's kind of like a flesh tone colour, and working it just where that liner stops, so just there, and then work it back and forth. And then you can slowly bring it down a little bit further, so you're just getting the outer part of that eyeliner, and you're just blending it, smoking it out a little bit, so it kind of turns into a smoky eye but very subtly because you don't want it to be like black all over the lid it's just at the lash line. I'm going to take a nice big fluffy brush like this and you're just going to blend that whole area. Now this is clean, there's nothing on this it's just for blending. Blending all the way across above that eyeliner so I'm not actually dipping into the eyeliner or anything I'm just going above it. I'm going to curl my eyelashes This is the e.l.f. eyelash curler, in case you guys are wondering. Add some mascara. And I'm going to add these false eyelashes. And these false eyelashes are by Hot Candy. And they're very, very natural ones. The only thing I did differently is I'm just going to trim off the edge so they're not too big because they were a little bit big for my eye. About there. And don't throw this away because you can use these for corner eyelashes. So there you have some like little very small corner eyelashes that you can either layer with another pair of eyelashes if you want to as well to really thicken up the edge. Look at the lighting is ridiculous. Look at this. So on the rest of the face I'm going to take a coral rose blush and this is by Rimmel. On an angled brush just take a little bit, put it on the cheek. She really just has like a natural look. Now my lips aren't in the best condition to be showing you a lipstick. Um, I'm getting treatment for it but it's just really annoying at the moment. But I'm going to be using this Luminous Air one and this is in Nude Pink. And it's kind of similar to the lip, to the blush that I'm wearing. It's kind of like on the nudey, peachy, pinky side. I'm just going to blur that out because I don't want it to be like too intense. And these are very like highly pigmented so just dab it. And then I'm going to take this um, XXXXL nude, and this is in, what color is this? Oh, this is Pure, um, Pure Beauty, number one. It's a lighter shade from the Essence collection. And I'm going to put this over the lips, over that nice corally pink lipstick. 
instead of going like mmm like that um, because all that does is kind of disperse the pigment so it kind of bleeds on the outer edge just go ba 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 like that and that'll kind of disperse it without pushing it outwards so you won't have as much kind of bleeding over the edge of your lip and when I say bleeding I just mean that the lipstick sort of comes to the outer side. A few people got confused when I said that last time. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see how to do the hair, you can check the link up here, which will take you to that video. It's kind of like a soft, wavy type, type of hairstyle. Something that she tends to wear a lot. Um, I think her hair might naturally be that way. I don't know. But I really hope you enjoy this look. I'm Shay Katie, and thank you for watching.